I'm delighted today to be speaking to Maisie Lockwood from Knightsbridge Property and Lifestyle Management. Welcome, Maisie. Hi, thank you for having me. So we're going to talk about some of the latest trends for ultra high net worth clients, how they like to spend their time in London and, and the services you provide for them. So perhaps we could just kick off by finding out a little bit more about Knightsbridge Property and Lifestyle Management and what you do for clients. So Knightsbridge Property and Lifestyle Management, we are a luxury property management and lifestyle concierge company. Mm. Um, so I work in the lifestyle side. So I'll start with that first because that's my favourite. Um, so the concierge can be anything from helping to organise holidays for our clients, um, buying tickets uh, to often sold out events, um, getting them access to the top restaurants in London, things like that. We do a lot of uh, staff recruitment. Mm. So uh, recruiting nannies, drivers, you know, um, housekeepers. Um, and then the property management side is really just managing our second homes for our clients. Mm. Um, so our property managers will handle all maintenance, they'll do inspection reports, uh, we do small to large scale renovations. Um, and it's really just keeping the properties to the best standard, whether the client is, is in town or not. So into, on the ticketing front then, would it be something like, you know, Centre Court Wimbledon, you yes. know, Euro Cup final? I mean, what, what's the sort of gig yeah. that you're trying to trying to get clients uh, um, access to? Well, I mean, uh, F1. So I recently yeah. had a um, an inquiry for, for an F1 ticket. Usually they're sold in pairs. They wanted just one. Mm. So difficult requests like that. Um, we get event requests the day before an mm. event you know, a sold out event. So, um, you know, we've managed to come through, uh, you know, within hours with some with some tickets. And you rely then on your network to go out, yes. make the calls, get the get the favours, you know, that that's, I guess, yes. where you're... It is, it's all about who you know. Okay, it really is. interesting. <laughs> Great. And what do, how do clients engage you? Do they, you know, they, they become a client and pay like an annual retainer and then they buy these things on top? Well, how do they work with you? So, um, so our clients pay a membership fee, like an annual membership mm. fee. And then, um, yeah, if there's tickets and things like that are, are charged on top. Mm. Um, but they'll have a certain amount of requests that they can do per month. It's very bespoke compared to, to depending on what the client wants mm. and what they need. Um, we have some, we don't just do sort of private clients, we do some corporate memberships as well. Mm. So at the moment we're working with uh, a private bank in Mayfair, um, serving their top clients mm. and they use our lifestyle concierge services. Um, and I think that the, the corporate lifestyle be benefits really well with using our lifestyle concierge I think that it's had great reviews so we're looking to build on that as well. So they can direct their clients to work with you because that saves them it gives them an option yeah. to provide better service yeah, to their clients. Just, yeah it just enables the the you know the bank to give a better service to their clients mm. um, and yeah so while their top clients are in in town we'll basically take care of their reservations things like that. And are there any parts of the world that you find clients come from in particular I mean for example there's a lot of Middle Eastern high net worths come into mm. London or Asian families I mean do you find that there's certain demographics or it can it's really yeah. global and and, and who? Um, so most of I would say most of our clientele are uh, Middle Eastern so mm. Dubai Qatar Saudi we do have some clients from the USA from Hong mm. Kong we've got Russia yeah. Ukraine Austria I mean it's really the majority yes Middle Eastern but um but we work worldwide um yeah. Fantastic. And, and, and on the travel front, I mean, what sort of things are you arranging? I imagine, you know, private jets, very exclusive yes. type breaks, yeah. one-off type thing. I mean, give us a flavour of the sort of thing um, you might do on the well, travel Well, anything yeah. from, uh, so for example, we've got a family flying out to the Maldives this Christmas. Um, so we organise from start to finish. Um, we handle their itinerary when they're staying in the resort as well. They've got some amazing activities lined up. Mm. Um, you know, access to the Windsor Suite and Heathrow, mm. um, the VIP chauffeurs and, and then we do sort of short trips so I'm just giving examples yeah. here it's the best right. way to to right. describe um 
I had a private helicopter request for a shooting event. Mm. Um, they actually, it was for a, a castle which was sort of up north in Scotland and they wanted the helicopter to, to actually land in the castle grounds um so you know we managed to do that so wow. it's it's really anything short trips to um you know vip cars across the country and uh, private jets anything yeah. really and i guess on on the travel front it might also be things like golf like shooting like yes. it's sort of and, and that i guess crosses into the corporate space as well where definitely. people might want something unique but activity based yeah something like that. yeah definitely and um you know for example the bank that we work with they had um a corporate event in london um they were all staying at a hotel and we basically organized you know all their travel for them coach travel things like that how they got around the city so um, really anything. <laughs> and do you do anything on, on the fashion front as well? I mean, on social media, you see a lot of the guys that will get uh, the trainers for the footballers or the, or the, the exclusive clothes and things that yes. they want. Yes. I mean, is that something that you see as... Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, a, lot of, a lot of our clients actually didn't know that we, that we sort of offered that. Mm. But that's a really big part of, of what we do and we have the contacts to be able to do it. Um, they can WhatsApp you, right, I'm looking for yeah, this, and then you can yeah. use Discon the network yeah. to... Discontinued um, Hermes bags, things like that. Um, so we have great contacts in London and worldwide. Um, and everything that we've been asked so far, we've been able to source. Exactly. So yeah, um, Hermes is a, is, a, is a top one. That's always, you know... Yeah, we're always looking for that. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And obviously, London's restaurant scene is very hot. But people coming in from out of town want to know, want a bit of navigation as to where they should be going. I mean, what do, what do you see right now as venues that are really in demand or places that people are asking for a little bit? More? Um, so I would say one of the really popular ones right now is uh, the Main Mayfair. Mm. Um, that's been really popular. It's kind of they run it a bit like a it's. It looks like a, a exclusive members club inside. Mm. It's really nice. The interiors are really nice. They do live entertainment. Um, I love the team there. They're really great. It's got a nice terrace outside. So that's been like a real hub. Um, and you can get a table that, you know, like short notice because you yes, know these people. We do can, have a few yeah. good contacts there, yes. Um, and then I would say, oh, obviously, we've got the... Um, Caprice Holdings restaurant, mm. and that's actually opening today, the um, Bacchanalia. Okay. And uh, obviously Caprice Holdings, they have Sexy Fish, Scots, yeah. all of those. So it's going to be amazing. Everyone knows it. There's been a huge build up. Um, so yeah, that's opening today. That's probably going to be a hot spot for a while. Um, another one of my favorites, uh, Coin on yeah. Grosnova Street. That's a really nice Japanese that's just opened. We've sent uh, some clients there, both private and corporate, really good reviews. The interior is great. I mean, I could go on. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the, um, you know, it's coming up to Christmas. So you've got those restaurants, um, Daphne's and Chelsea, they do the really nice Christmas decorations. So the members clubs, you know, they're not obviously the stuffy clubs of Pall Mall necessarily what people want. Mm -hmm. There's the much there's a modern scene of members club. Mm -hmm. Do you find yes. clients want that kind of style where they got something that's a yeah. bit of a base for them if they want it? Yes, definitely. Members clubs is a huge um, part of what we do, actually. Um, it's really knowing what the client is looking for. Um, some of our clients have, have come to us previously and said, look, I'm, I'm looking at these two. What do you think would you know, suit me better? And mm. um, obviously you've got Annabelle's, which is mm. the, it's always oversubscribed. Um, and that, you know, that's got the events, the glitz, the glam, um, a real social scene. And then you've got somewhere like um, Oswald's, mm which is a lot more understated, great for business networking. Mm. So it really just depends on what the client is looking for. We're um, assisting a, a US family at the moment to relocate over to uh, London. So again, it's finding out what, what they like mm. to do and where they'd like to be located in London because every area offers something different. Do you cover the school side then in that kind of search or that you work we with do, partners? Yeah, we who, do assist. We yeah. do work with partners yeah. as well because that's extremely specialist, yeah. um, especially when you start getting to, you know, the primary and secondary schools. 
Um, but yes, yeah, so at the moment we are helping them with nurseries. They've got young children. So yeah, we do get involved with that and we have some great partners and contacts. But it's a big project to relocate, isn't it? So just having huge. someone centrally who can look at all the aspects yeah, is, is huge. Helpful, yeah, I it? think um, they didn't realise sort of how much goes into it and I think they when it when it starts happening they're glad that they have us <laughs> and recruitment of staff like nannies and things at home this is part of what you would do to help families find mm -hmm. someone who can support them yeah again that's really just um, is that a tough market right now is is finding good people is normally hard isn't it yes I mean... it's very um, we are not in a candidate rich market mm. right now um, just because of Brexit mm. um, and yeah so we we there are a lot of great jobs on the market and just not the the candidates to fill them mm. unfortunately so um but yeah we we do quite specialist recruitment so they have to speak certain languages have certain skills mm. um, they always have to have private household experience um, and it's really just fitting the right candidate with with the client mm. and how they run their household. And um, we really get involved in the interview process, um, the background checks, referencing, um, and then- Because security is important for high network yes. clients. Because, and, and so making sure you're vetting the right people is an integral part yeah. of that role, isn't it? And that's part of, I guess, um, you know, having us here in London, we are, trustworthy we are the go-to mm. that they can sort of come to for advice especially if they don't know the area you know as well as us mm. um, if they're relocating as well um, so we can advise them on you know salary contracts things like that and we're we're in the winter season at the moment people might be thinking about hitting the slopes in January through to March I mean what what is it that you'd be working with on the travel side on people who are looking at getting away this winter Sure. So um, obviously, it's start of the ski season. So mm. we've got um, we've got really good contacts in all of the big resorts. So Verbia, Switzerland, um, and then you've got uh, Courchevel, Chamonix in France. Um, so we've got really good contacts. We're able to offer some really quite spectacular properties mm. um, and packages for our clients. Um, but something that I am um, I was looking at this year and oh, which I think looks amazing actually is um Lapland. Yeah. Uh it's just a bit different. There's a there's a a private wilderness reserve that I'm looking into at the moment and um it's it's just stunning the the design of the chalets is like lodge style. It would be really great for like a festive trip. Mm. Loads of activities, ice skating, skiing, mm. um good for families. Yeah, and it's just like a unique experience. Unspoiled yeah. nature. And I mean, on, on, on the ski front side, I mean, what what is it that goes beyond just your regular, you book the chalet, you know, you book your flights, you know your way around the slopes. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what sort of extra things do you see in these in these luxury properties or what, what is it that you're buying? A bit more space, you know, some extra facilities, extra support. What, what is it that you find? Definitely. Yeah. Um, so skiing is... Um, you know, I don't know if you ski. I I ski, and it's it's a hassle. Mm, you know, it's yeah. not that it's it's carrying your, yeah. you know, all of that. So it's basically just taking all of the mundane tasks out of skiing, mm. and really turning it into a relaxing holiday. Because sometimes mm. you come away from skiing and you think, was that <laughs> relaxing? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so the you know the drivers, especially if you're in a resort like Chamonix, the skiing's all split up. You mm. really need a driver. Mm. Um, so it's not getting you know the buses or walking to the lifts. You're getting direct service from mm. the chalet to to the ski lifts. Um, you'll have assistance. You know they'll they'll take you to get your skis fitted and everything. Everything's carried for you. Mm. Everything is is thought out. Um, dinner's cooked when you get home. You know, every everything is they they do it well. They mm. really do it well. It's all pre planned, and it's a they don't have to really think about anything apart from enjoying the slopes. Yeah. Really, we're in the run up to Christmas now. I mean, what is it that you see? very wealthy clients looking at over Christmas. I mean, it, it, there's there's lots of parties to arrange, there's presents to yes. get, there's all sorts of like, you know, yes. what, what is it, that you, what kind of requests come in at Christmas do you find? Um, so we have like our yearly requests um, for decorating the homes, yeah. Christmas trees, the Christmas tree set up, 
um, at the moment we're... Because that can go right. Yeah, I mean, the levels on which people can decorate yes. lovely homes is... is... <laughs> we work with interior designers yeah. wow. um, and, you know, just specialists, you know, decorators and designers to create something new every time. Um, we're doing sort of like bespoke wreaths for um, a client's fireplace and, and the stairwell at the moment. Mm. Um, yeah, so all, all of that. And then also you've got all of the events coming up to Christmas, um, lots of family visiting, organizing travel, um, finding something that the whole family can do mm. events wise, um, family activities. Mm. Um, the, the, I do have one, I love doing, I love Christmas time for, you know, organizing everything for the clients, but there's one request that was my favorite and we actually got a private, a private visit from Santa Claus to a family and he did bring his two reindeer as well. Oh, wow. And the children just loved it. And it oh, was, that was really, magic. really nice. Yeah, that was great. And do, do you, do you try and train your clients to say, look, don't call me on Christmas Eve expecting me to go out? You know, do you try and get, do you try and manage um, or is it always, they'll inevitably be calling you 23rd, 24th? Mm, I haven't, I haven't got sorted. Yeah. You know, you know I'm, I'm <laughs> expecting that. It's not, yeah. um, it's part of the service. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, any normal family, you know, I've, I've forgotten this gift, you know, yeah. um, we're in London and, and that's just part of, you know, yeah. the service that, that we provide. It's going to happen. Our clients are lovely and usually, you know, it's sort of office hours, but yeah. it's, you're you there know, to help. It's part, yeah. If, if you want to be, um, in this industry, then you kind of know that it's, work, yeah, yeah, it's around the clock. Interesting. And, and and perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about what's the most difficult thing you've, you've had to solve for a client? Is there any is there any examples of things that you've been tasked yes. to get and, and that's popped to mind? Huh? Um, actually, last weekend was, was pretty difficult. I had a um, event to plan within a day and I had the space but I didn't have tables chairs I needed tables chairs plates cutlery wine glasses yeah. everything um, I organized a private chef butlers a sommelier all within a day um, and yeah we made it work and it was great yeah um, they had a great event so things like that we always get um, the last minute can I have a, a table of 10 mm. at this restaurant, you know, at prime time? Mm. So there'll always be those requests. But um, the most difficult, I'd say, is when there's things going on in the world that we can't control, mm. like COVID. Mm. Um, obviously, there was a lot of restrictions, closures. Um, I do remember at that time we had a, um, a request for actually a fashion show in Paris um for the Dior fashion show mm. and we managed to within the day get four front row tickets to the Dior fashion show in Paris organize all the travel despite all of these closures people not wanting to talk to us mm. things like that um and then yeah another one recently we've um had with the you know the war in in Ukraine mm. Russia Russian airspace was closed. We had some clients in Russia that we had to get out of Russia mm. to come over here. Um, so we managed that as well. Wow. And all the sort of emotions and stress that goes with it. But mm. we managed to do it and it's, uh, so yeah, we've been we've been there in some really <laughs> key situations, wow. I think, yeah. So, I mean, for people who are interested in your services, I mean, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about why you're different uh, to, to other kind of services that mm -hmm. they could buy on the street of, uh, for concierge. Um, so personally, I think we're different just because I think a lot of concierge and, uh, lifestyle services, they act as sort of call centers. Mm. Um, and I think that, yeah, we're just very personable. We have great relationships with all of our clients. All of our recommendations come from personal experience. Um, if we're not fulfilling requests for the clients, we're, we're out, we're working on our contacts to be able to get better access for them. It's a, it's a full-time job in itself, just keeping contacts and good relationships with people to get what we can for the clients. Um, but yeah, you know, you just have to have a, a good backbone and not take no for an answer. That's literally it. Well, terrific. Well, look, great to talk to you today. Thank we look you. forward to sharing this interview. Thank you so much. 
the latest technical content delivered through global conversations with professionals for professionals.